All right, welcome to our next quadratic example. Um, I would like for you guys to grab out your graphing calculator because you're going to want to use it. Um, but we're going to dive into example three. Let's see. It says find the equation of a parabola that passes through those three points. Okay, we have three quadratic forms. We have our standard, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We got our vertex form, and we have our factored form. Okay. Um, in this problem, we're given three points. It does not specify that any one of those is the vertex, and it also does not specify, so since it's not the vertex, we're not going to use vertex form, and it doesn't specify that I have any zeros or roots, so I'm not going to use factored form, which leaves us with our standard form. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So what they're doing is they're giving us three points. And with each point, I know an x and a y value. So what I'm going to do is come up with a system of three equations. And then I'm going to use matrices to solve that system of three equations. Okay, so here is x and here is y. So wherever there's an x, I plug in three. And wherever there's a y, I plug in one, okay, into my standard form. So I have one equals a. Now x is three squared plus b times my x, which is three plus c. And I'm just going to simplify this, and I'm going to write this part first, and then equals 1. So 3 squared is 9, so I got 9a plus 3b plus c equals 1. Then I'm going to move on and do the exact same thing with my next order pair, which is xy. So 3 equals a, 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. So 2 squared is 4, so I got 4a plus 2b plus c equals 3. And then the last one we got x, y, plugging it all in. So I have negative 5 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. Now it seems a little silly, but just to help set things up, I'm still going to write the zeros. But clearly you guys could see if you're going to solve this um, system of three equations, this part would all be 0, and so c equals negative 5. Okay? Um, but we'd have 0a, I'm just going to write it this way, plus 0b plus c equals negative 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it into a 3 by 4 matrix okay, to solve this system. I need to solve for A, B, and C. So it's a system of three unknowns. So I'm going to do a um, reduced row echelon form from pre-calc last year, and I'm going to use my calculator to solve this. Um, so I'm going to write down my first column. We've got 9, 4, 0, and then I go down 3, 2, 0, and then in front of my C's, the coefficient in front there is all 1's. So I got one, 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 and then I write all the solutions. We always put it into a three by four matrix. Remember matrices are rows by columns. So there's three rows and four columns. And then we're gonna go ahead and use uh, reduced row echelon form. So R, R, E, F on our calculator to help us solve it. So let's go ahead and put this into our calculator um, to kind of help us out. I think I already have it on mine, but let's double check. Um, so. We are going to go to put in a matrix. You go second uh, matrix. Matrix is located above x inverse or x to the negative 1. So I hit matrix. Then you go over to edit and hit enter. And then you enter in the matrix. So you type it to 3 by 4 and then you plug in all the data, which it appears, yes, I have already put it in. But you would do 9, enter, and then it would move on to the next one. Okay. So I'm going to give you a second, maybe pause it and go ahead and type in that matrix. Now that you've done that, let's go ahead and get out of here. The way we get out is we go second quit. Then I'm going to go back to my matrix, so second matrix. And do you guys remember where to find R, R, E, F, or reduced row echelon form? You need to go over to math, down. It's like very far at the bottom, so you could arrow all the way down, or you can arrow up. It takes you to the bottom of the list and find R, R, E, F. Okay. Then from here, we go back to our matrix, which is above x inverse. So we go second matrix. And you just stay in the names column and grab matrix A and hit enter. This looks great. I know this has a reduced row echelon form because this part right here is my identity matrix um, for a 3 by 3. Um, so that's good. And then right here, negative 2, 8, and negative 5 are my solution. So we're going to write this down, and then we'll talk about what each one means. So my reduced row echelon form led us to 1, 0, 0, just writing down the identity part first. And then what was it? Negative 2, 8, negative 5. So these are my solutions to my matrix. So the first one, this is our A value. Then the next one, 
this is our B value, and then lastly, this is our C value. So I just need to put my final answer into standard form, and so it is Y equals uh, A, so negative two, X to the second, plugging it into standard form, which is also right here, plus our B value, eight X, and then plus our C, so it'd be plus a negative five, so I'm just gonna write minus five. And there is our solution for example three using standard form.